Once again, good afternoon. Welcome to All About Animals. I am Sherry Gratador. And we have given, and I'm not going to remember your last name again. It's Brink. Brink. I'm terrible no, no. with names. I'm sorry. Okay. And Tomas Anderson, who's come on out of the shade. <laughs> Don't hide. And we are in an exhibit at the uh, Wildlife Discovery Center at Alamo Farms that is, the grass is rattling, and it is a rattlesnake exhibit, is it not? It is primarily rattlesnakes. It's not just rattlesnakes. We have some exotic species, including the king cobra and the bushmaster, which is right behind you, which is the largest um, pit viper. So all the of these are venomous snakes? These are all venomous snakes. Everything in here is a venomous snake. OK. Um, I'm going to walk over here. I don't know if you can. Well, so he stopped rattling the minute I got here. I wanted to let you hear what a rattlesnake rattle actually sounds like. I have some rattles that broke off some of our snakes here as well. If you'd like me to take some out, we can oh, shake wow, them. Oh, wow, that would be fascinating. But let's talk about what we're looking at here. Okay. Right here we have the four native to Illinois venomous snakes. Right here is the Mossasaga. This is an endangered species. We don't have a lot of these left. The big killer of these was agriculture. And there's your rattle right there. Agriculture really did it in for these. When we drained their wetlands and plowed through it, the snake lost its habitat. And it didn't help that people pretty much were killing everyone they found for the last 50, 100, 200 years. And, and he's, he's, he's the pygmy rattlesnake? They are, a, well, the snake we generally call the pygmy rattlesnake is native to the southeast. This is a relative, they're in the same genus. It is the smallest rattlesnake, at least in Illinois. They only get, these, these are big ones. So I, I heard of a story of one being found in, in Barrington that was like four feet, which obviously is not a Mossasaga, because Mossasagas don't get that big. This is, this is a pretty good size one. There's a couple, there's four in here. And we're working on some breeding projects with them, trying to possibly get them for reintroduction down the road. It's a long-term goal. And then if you want to go over here, this is the timber rattlesnake. You can find this along the west part of Illinois along the bluffs in the Mississippi River. Significantly larger. They are definitely significantly larger. One of the bigger rattlesnakes actually in the whole country. Not the biggest, but in, in probably the top five. They are a threatened species. They did not lose a lot of their habitat like the, to agriculture like the Mossasaga did, but a lot of times killing and habitat loss is, is a big concern for them. And that's the timber. And if you can see that tail shaking, and listen, you can hear him rattle. Where is the tail? The tail is laying on that fake rock, and the snake is not really as upset right now. There's two of them in there. You can see, oh, there we go. The one in the back. Okay. And down here, oh, if you want to focus on that a little, but down here we have... In the back corner. In the back. One of the most camouflaged snakes, it's the copperhead. We don't have these around here. Nowhere close to here, actually. You can probably find them from southern Illinois, following the Mississippi up to roughly the Alton area, which is across from uh, St. Louis. There's a few other pockets that they've been found, but they're not something you're going to find all throughout uh, Illinois, not very far north. And then we have one of my favorites over here, which is the cottonmouth. Where is he? The cottonmouth is in that corner there. Why it's one of my favorites is because as far as venomous snakes being charismatic animals go, this is probably the least charismatic. There's always a story about the cottonmouth. You hear about cottonmouths in, I don't know, Rockford, Illinois, Madison, Wisconsin, jumping in canoes, people jumping off a tire swing, landing in nests of them. And the problem with that is, one, they don't build nests. They don't even lay eggs. They're live bearing snakes. Two, they don't live in Madison, Wisconsin. They don't live in Rockford, Illinois. They live in the very, very southern tip of Illinois. So the stories about water moccasins and water moccasin and cottonmouth is the same thing. The stories about them are extremely exaggerated. That's why I like this snake because it's it's hated by so many people for absolutely no reason. <laughs> it's a, it's a harmless. It's that's not harmless. If it bites you, it's going to hurt. You're not you're not going to die. Just go to the hospital. But. Uh, People just hate it for really no reason. Now, water moccasin and cottonmouth. I thought water moccasin was a water snake. I've heard in some parts of the country they'll call everything a water moccasin, okay. whether it be the venomous version or the completely harmless water snake. They call it that. And then they say there's the cottonmouth water moccasin. Around here, if someone's talking about a water moccasin, they're talking about the venomous one. Mm -hmm. And it's incorrect. They're not and even he's here. Hiding. 
And we're going to move on because I want to have a chance to show us some of the other snakes that are here as well. Okay. okay. These are all exotics. Okay. Well, everything along here, they're exotic snakes. Right here we have the puff adder, which is known for the fastest strike of any snake in the world. They also have the, it's relative, the gaboon viper is known for the record in longest fangs of any snake. They're, they are quite attractive. Most, most of the species are vi vividly colored. This, this actual species is not quite as vividly colored, but extremely powerful, very quick in short distance strikes. Now, they're not like the mambas that can move along the floor really fast, but they can move pretty well for what looks like a very chubby snake. When it gets upset, it will start puffing up. And it will, I don't want to upset it right now because I don't want it striking at the glass. It would hurt its nose. But they'll start puffing up and breathing kind of heavily, even sometimes open their mouth. And you'll hear a noise. It's like a, like a deep breathing. And uh, this snake will do that. Down here, you're not going to see this snake. So it's a yeah. black Pakistan cobra. And it looks like there's a couple pieces of shed that ripped off in there, too. Um, that snake, you're not going to see. It's hiding in yeah, the back. Yeah, I can see where he's hiding, but we're not yeah. going to 